Hello and welcome to BMAN and Revit tutorials. In today's tutorial, dear friends, I would like to show you what's inside this kitchen cabinet family uh, and what is special for all those are, uh, that are first on my YouTube channel and from those who uh, first time follow the tutorials on this topic. I would like to show what's special about this kitchen cabinet family. The important thing, especially for me, when create the kitchens and when I want to uh, send the shop drawings to the manufacturer, the most ad advantage of this family is that we create these shop drawings you see here with just one click. Uh, this is legend. As you can see, this is legend from this family and so on. This is legend from this family type and we create it with just one click. It's very useful, especially when you make changes and uh, when you make modifications on the kitchen, you can create these shop drawings with just one click. It's in two seconds. And uh, if you want to make a modification on the family type, it will affect this legend automatically. Everything you change here, it automatically changes on the shop drawings. I will show you how it works now. Uh, from here, I will go to first floor. And from here, those are the different types of the same family. The family is the same but the types are different and I will create one more type just to show you how it works, especially how we create the shop drawings. You duplicate it from here and I will rename it, uh, let be something 17 and opening, dire opening direction can be uh, right. I will use my mother tongue this for the right and L is for the left opening direction. All right. And from here you can make changes uh, of the materials. Those are materials parameters. Here we have parameters for the uh, wide depth and height of the family. Uh, here we can change the number of this of these elements and automatically the number of the parts that are need to make this uh, cabinet will be automatically changed and the shop drawings will be ready for the manufacturer from here we change the opening direction now is the left opening direction i will select the right opening direction because this family is the, with the right opening direction and I will deselect the left opening directions. All right, uh, from here, I will change the white of this family. It will be 70, 70 centimeters. All right, and from here, I will change the height to 90. All right, that's it. Now we go to the legends, okay. Uh, when you already have created regions, uh, legend, you uh, have two methods to create a new one. We can duplicate this one, something like this. All right, selecting it, and from here we need to find the the element we uh, the family type we uh, created this before and that's it from here you can see everything is changed the operating directions the dimensions for on the drawings the number of the elements that are needed to create such a kitchen cabinet all dimensions are here the number of the elements the edge bending also is defined here and from here you have the name and the dimensions of the general dimensions of this uh, cabinet family. 
All right, now I will show you. I will delete what this one. All right, I will delete it from here also because I have those ones. It's the same. All right, now I will close the. I will close this parameter. This is the 3D presentation and this is the legend. If you want to create such presentation, it's very easy. I will uh, show you how to do that. You go on 3D view. They are. And you select the family you want. Uh, isolate it. But before that, you need to duplicate this 3D view. This is the 3D view. You go here, duplicate it with detailing. And now you can rename it. It can be uh, then uh, live topping. Okay. All right. And now you select it. All right. And you need to isolate as an element and you need to apply. All right, that's it. After you add the legends on the sheet, you just need to take this and add it here. From here you can change the scale. Okay. You can leave this or you can change it uh, with no title. If you want to make scale bigger, it will be something like this. All right. I will delete it now. Uh, uh, I've shown you how to create this presentation. Now I will show you uh, how modifications or the on this family type affect the legends automatically. Uh, all right, now I will close these windows here. I will leave only the legends and the family. It will be this family here, okay. And now I will go on the view, the views, okay. All right. And now I will select this family, go to edit type and watch here. Here, uh, those are the shared parameters. Now I will explain you in general what I did uh, to create this uh, family that shows uh, shop drawings uh, automatically is just one in just one click. Uh, I used share parameters. All these parameters here are share parameters is the same with this with this, all parameters you see here are the shear parameters. Uh, I use the nested families and I use the, the parameters for the visibility graphics and using formulas I create this uh, automatically changed shop drawings. Now I will show you when you change the wide it's automatically appear here, you can see. Now, let me change the height. You will see here, everything will be changed. Here also, everything will be changed automatically. Okay. Uh, now, when I change the white, let it be something like this. Okay, you can see here uh, the edge banded uh, parts of the of the elements that we need to create this cabinet uh, automatically changes here let me show you one more time uh, let's say it, uh, it will be something like this and this will be here all right uh, here can be also centimeters you can see this changed automatically and all drawings automatically change. Now let's uh, bring it back to 
40 the, and the height will be let's see uh, 85 or 19 okay you can see everything changes automatically and also the opening direction I will deselect the left opening, I will select the right opening and you will see here automatically change also the this symbol here that shows uh, the opening direction of this family automatically changes. Let me do it one more time. Alright, you see it's left and this is the uh, graphical uh, presentation of it. And now, when we, if you have more than one of these elements, you just need to change this number here and everything automatically changes. You can see the complete number of the parts needed to create this cabinet is here. Also, it's here. And it's very useful. It's very useful when you create, if you working with kitchens and if you're working directly with the manufacturer it's very easy to make adjustments to make modifications uh, if you if the clients uh, have different requests you may, for example you finish the kitchen uh, he gave you the uh, final decision but in the process of creating uh, manufacturer drawings or shop drawings he changed his mind and uh, have different requests you can um, modify it very easily uh, all right let uh, let it take to nine for example Let's see everything changes automatically now I will go on one And that's it, dear friends. Now I will go into the family just to show you how it looks like. All right, I will close these windows here. Okay, you need to create this cabinet family and using uh, visibility. Here you have visible, visibility graphic parameters you can decide with formula which part uh, will be visible when you make the changes on the general parameters of this on the, uh, this family let me show in the uh, floor plan view as you can see all drawings are here just to repeat one more time i use shear parameters i sure i used uh, i used uh, nested families reference plans, dimensions, uh, visibility graphic parameters, and using formula, using different formulas, I've created this uh, family. As you can see, this is something like this. And dear friends, this is all for this tutorial. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe and to share my works with your friends and colleagues. See you in the next tutorial.